Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today Tunbridge Angels are away to Oxford City in the National League South. So what are your thoughts on today's game? Well it's uh, it's one of our longer trips um, and it seems a very long time since we've done an away day together on a Saturday. Um, and we've worked out it is, it's about two or three months isn't it? Yeah. For some reason, various reasons. Um, yeah this will be a tough one today. Um, Oxford are right up there going for promotion um, and we're fairly decent when they play down. So it will be tough but of course after the win over talking now believe obviously anything can happen so who knows yeah I mean it's uh, quite a long away day going to be a very very tough game um, I quite enjoy the long away game to be honest but yeah um, Oxford are in uh, third place we're in 17th so 14 place difference so what's your prediction I don't know 1-1 one, one. I think it's going to be 3-2 to Oxford and I'll see you at Port Place Farm Straight to my heart I've never noticed But you were never there, you were never there hey. You give me roses, set me apart All I feel was bliss But you were never there, you were never I want us to be what we used to be this night Baby, just another fight But you don't wanna see me cry no way that it's never going there I think it better run, I swear I follow you no matter where Last time here, February 2020, when we won 3-0 here, which was Tommy Wood's debut, which was a very good day. So what's your thoughts on this ground? Oh, it's okay. It's all functional, isn't it? And it's, um, yeah, behind the goal, there's a bit of cover down that end, isn't there? But there's none this side. And I think the bar's quite nice here as well. I must say that hardly ever in my football watching career, watching non-league football, have I not been allowed in a ground at half past one. So when you've driven two hours, 40 minutes or whatever it is to get here, I, I'm not very impressed with that really. But yeah. Anyway, so, I mean, it's only five minutes they kept us waiting really, but you know, I think that's a bit off really. But yeah. uh, anyway, we're in now, and yeah. uh, let's hope we have a good game. Yeah, I really like this ground. I mean, it is um, 3G pitch, so it won't be any like um, weather problems. But yeah, it's a shame there's nothing on the one on the side behind the goal. Um, yeah, it was an absolute nightmare trying to get in and even buying a ticket today was just a shambles <laughs> to buy one. But yeah, uh, let's hope we win. Come on, you angels. Down to 10 men, no keeper in goal. Yeah, 1 0. Anyway. Oh, 
It's now 2 0 to Oxford, another free kick into the goal. This is going to be a long game, 2 0. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh. Oh. Yeah. No. Half time here at Court Place Farm. It's currently Oxford City 2, Tunbridge Angels 0. So, what are your thoughts on the first half? Uh, I think we've done quite well to keep it down to two, um, and, we, and we played really well. I've got to admit, when we went down to ten and then conceded a goal straight away, an outfield player in goal, we think it's going to be unlucky we're going to get something from this game. You know, but it's only two, and if we get a goal, who knows? Um, but um, yeah, it's, it's looking slim at the moment, but you know, let's just enjoy the second half and uh, see what we can do. Yeah, I don't know what to say about that. I mean, obviously it was an absolutely disastrous start with our keeper getting sent off. We've got no keeper on the bench the one time that Toby McKim couldn't get onto the bench. We needed him. So we've got an outfield player in goal, down to 10 men, 2-0 down after 20 minutes. And yeah, it's, not, <laughs> it's been an absolute disaster. We have played well since going 2-0 down. We actually have reacted quite well. But you know, I can't see happening yet, getting it back. You know, I mean, I didn't think we would get it back anyway if we had 11 men because Oxford are a really good team. You know, and um, just got to make sure it's not embarrassing. Um, because I think if it stays 2-0, I'll be really pleased, to be honest. <laughs> so yeah, see you in the second half. I've been saying this all um, at the start of the season that they would not get any. Ah. Oh. I don't know who went in goal when, when he got sent off at Haven. Was it a yeah, no, two minutes ago? 13. Oh. oh. That's good. Which is, you know, where I That's an alright result then. Yeah. Time at Court Place Farm, it finished Oxford City 5, Tunbridge Angels 0. So, what are your thoughts on the game then? Um, yeah, no, it's just a sort of point of the full time whistle when you yeah, realised that we've come an awful long way um, from a 5 0 defeat. But there were circumstances, and the red card early was the reason for that. Um, and I actually want to give the team quite a lot of credit because 
it became a very different game and you had to just defend as much as you could and, and actually defended okay. Um, so on a different day, who knows what might have happened, but a great deal to be too ashamed or embarrassed about there actually. Um, it's just you know, frustrating overall at the result. But anyway, you know, let's see how we get on next week. Yeah, just one of these games that just want to forget, you know, it was an absolute disaster, man. I mean, we, you can't deny that we, you know, the, the effort was there. We were, you know, you can definitely see that, you know, that we gave it our all, but, um, you know, unfortunately, you know, we, we knew it was a right off from the start, you know, the early red card, and, you know, we were down to 10 men, no goalkeeper in goal. It was, it was a disaster waiting to happen. Um, you know, and uh, it, it could, honestly, I was fearing that it could be like a really embarrassing score as soon as the red card came out. But, you know, it, uh, it obviously is still deflating losing 5 0. Because um, for some reason, a 5 0 seems a lot bigger than a 4 0 for some reason, um, even despite the circumstances. But, yeah, we need to move on. Let's hope we don't get too like upset about it for next week. So, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.